Today we are at the IoT Trade Show in Santa Clara, California, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough so you can see what it's like and what to expect. I'm starting on one side of the convention and I'm just going to walk and no just no just pattern here, just just kind of walking through. Now I saw this little little uh, machine, really cool. You kind of a game you where you click all the buttons and they can kind of engage with you and break the ice. There are a lot of these different speakers that are talking about various items that they have expertise on. They have those going all throughout the show. And then there are a lot of booths pretty much talking about IoT. There are a lot of database companies, companies talking about edge computing, hardware, talking about product design, circuit board design, plastics, and then a lot of just software dashboards and databases happening here at the IoT, tro the IoT show. These are a 10 by 10 booth. These guys probably have a 20 by 20 booth. And uh, some are tall, some are short. Looks like they kind of have a, a lunch session right now where people are able to leave. And they just have panels. Here they're talking about cybersecurity, cloud computing. Uh, everyone's just kind of bringing their, their items here, setting up their booths and you know selling and peddling their, their softwares and services and products. This looks like it's a 10 by 20 booth. These booths start around $5,000 for a 10 by 10 booth, and then they kind of go up from there. We currently have about a 10 by 10 booth, just the smallest booth that you could currently have. And we actually opted to have a corner booth. This is our booth here. So that's our booth there. Kind of in the middle of everything. I would say there are probably 50 to 75 vendors here. You can probably look it up on the IoT Trade Show website and see what it really is. They have carpet laid down. When you get a booth here, they don't come standard with carpet. You actually have to pay for carpet or you have to bring your own carpet. You don't get a table, you have to pay for those tables. And another thing you also have to pay for are the chairs. So if you wanted a chair, they'd rent these chairs for like $160. Uh, I myself, I, I went to the store and bought a chair and brought it here. and It's a lot cheaper than getting it from the trade show. A little bit more work. Another thing is they don't give you free internet. You have to pay for the uh, electricity. So if your booth has electricity, you gotta pay for that too. I thought this was pretty creative. These guys brought some kind of blow up furniture. It's very inexpensive. So they can fold it up, take it home, or they can, you know, uh, just give it away if they want to at the end of the show. There's a lot of swag at the different shows. So these guys have t-shirts, you know, these guys have different items as well that they give away. Sometimes you get candy, sometimes they're squishy balls. Looks like these guys are giving away, looks like socks and sunglasses. There's all kinds of, all kinds of different things happening. Dashboards and devices. It's 12.30, so it's just afternoon. So a lot of people have gone to lunch. It's kind of thinned out a little bit. It was a little bit busier earlier. This is kind of a packed area here. I don't know if these are sound canceling or translating to different languages, but you know, these really cool headphones make it easier to really focus on what's happening with the speakers. And I think on this part of the convention center, they do a lot of blockchain and there's a lot of kind of crypto stuff happening over here. Oh, look, there's a line and it looks like it's probably food or coffee. Yeah, so here, a networking bar. Looks like you have food. What do we got? All right, rice, tomatoes, some sort of protein there. So that's what's happening here at the IoT Trade Show. Now next door, there's on the other side, there's digital marketing happening. And then upstairs, they have what's called a PCB West trade show happening. And you can learn how to design uh, circuit boards, kind of optimize traces, plan for RF, you know, layout RF, all kinds of different things. With that PCB show, I was talking to a guy a little bit earlier. So it's really interesting, all the things have happening. I'm happy that I could uh, kind of walk through, talk through some of the stuff I'm seeing. We have seen a lot of people coming through this year. I think it's like one to 10 ratio. We get one sales lead for 10 people trying to sell us their services. So it's really been challenging. This guy right here, he's Dan, I recognize Dan. He's, he's one of the guys organizing the show. Really nice guy, he's from the UK, Great Britain. Go check it out. You wanna play sports? Looks like these guys are 
have some sort of engagement here. So there's all kinds of different things trying to capture people's attention, whether it happens to be food and networking or basketball or pushing buttons. Some candy. Not really walking, just kind of random pattern here. Those couches, I don't know. You could probably fold it out into a bed. Networking bar, more food. And we're back at the beginning, just a quick walk through. I didn't go down every single, I didn't feel it was necessary to go down every single booth to give you an idea of what it's like at the IoT trade show here. But I wanted to give you a walk through and kind of share with you what it was like. Let's go out into the main area here to see how it's going. So it's uh, 1235 now. If you want to go down there, there's digital marketing. Digital marketing, that's what it is. And then upstairs, there's PCB, PCB West. And they typically have other trade shows happening as well during this trade show, which makes it nice because there's a synergy amongst all the people that come here to the different shows. Different vending machines. Those are pretty cool. Get yourself a sandwich or a drink. That's about it. I'm going to conclude on that video and I really appreciate you guys following along and listening along to this video and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you.